TK Solver Tutorial Units and Conversions. TK Solver provides a means for managing units and conversions. In this example, we have a TK Solver model containing formulas for area and for volume. We can specify units for any of the variables by entering the information in the unit column. In this example, we enter IN caret 3 for cubic inches as the unit for volume, IN for inches as the unit for length, width, and height, and IN caret 2 or square inches for area. These entries define the calculation units for the variables. We must be sure to be consistent with the equations on the rule sheet. If we make an error on our initial entry, we must blank the unit for the variable to clear the units and then re-enter the calculation unit. Now suppose we want to see the value of length in millimeters instead of inches. We must first tell TK Solver what the conversion factor is from inches to millimeters. We do this on another tab, the Unit tab. All of the TK Solver tabs or worksheets also appear in the Sheet Explorer on the left side of the screen. Instead of shifting through the number of different tabs, we can also double click on the left mouse button on the worksheet's icon inside of the Sheet Explorer to open it. If you do not want to have the Sheet Explorer open all of the time, you are able to have it slide into view when needed or to disappear completely if not needed. If this is your first time using TK Solver, then please make note of the other things located within the Sheet Explorer itself. We discuss these other parts of TK Solver in some of our other tutorials. You will also see links to some of the same things seen in the Sheet Explorer, also located within the View tab of TK Solver. There frequently are a number of different ways to perform your tasks inside of TK Solver. But for now, let's return to our task on the Units Worksheet. The Units Worksheet allows you to store thousands of unit conversion factors. In our example, we enter I, N for inches in the From column and M, M for millimeters in the To column, and then enter the conversion factor of 25.4. We can add a second line to convert from centimeters to millimeters with a conversion factor of 10. Although we did not explicitly enter the conversion, TK Solver now understands that inches can be converted to centimeters. The area and volume units and conversions must be defined separately, however. Now we type the new units on the variable sheet and the values update. Whenever the highlight is placed in a row containing a unit conversion, TK Solver indicates it by displaying the word unit on the status bar at the bottom of the screen. If we enter a new unit for which no conversion is defined on the unit sheet, TK Solver displays a question mark before the value. For example, if we enter CM caret 3 for cubic centimeters as the unit for volume, no conversion factor is available on the unit sheet and the question mark appears. Let's return to the unit worksheet to add the needed conversion. We may need many more conversions in our work, and rather than typing all of them ourselves, we can merge our work with an existing unit sheet from the TK Solver library. This library is accessed via the Applications tab on the ribbon bar. The TK Solver library contains over 200 tools and examples to load into TK Solver as needed. There are dozens of math and statistics routines and lots of pre-programmed utilities to merge into your work. The Utilities section of the library contains a collection of units sheets organized by discipline. In this example, we will use the Aerospace Engineering Unit Sheet. Two hundred seventy six conversions were added to the list. TK Solver provides a wizard for summarizing the unit's information for each variable. TK Solver wizards can be accessed via the Wizards menu tab in the ribbon controller. There are three units related wizards. We need the Units Summary Wizard. The Units Summary Wizard shows that the original calculation units for volume were cubic inches and that a conversion is being made to cubic centimeters. It also shows a listing of all available units for which we can use for volume. We can change to gallons just by double clicking on that selection. The wizard updates automatically as we switch to a new variable. Now we should save our work again. This is the end of the tutorial.
Thank you for learning about TK Solver. For more information about TK Solver and other UTS products, please visit us on the internet at www.uts.com. If you're interested in putting your TK Solver calculations out on the internet for people to see, please visit calcedge.com.